is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's Monday, May 17th. We're back, baby. And you should take the day off. So tan. I'm so tan. Are you tan? tan? They're tan everywhere. Tan, 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 tan. Your tan, name's Tan the Dan, 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 Tan. Your, Your name's Tan the Brand, Brand, Brand. Tan, tan the Brand, Tan, tan, tan the Dan. Tan, tan the Brand, Tan, Dan, Tan, tan the Brand. Tan. Tan. Oh, oh, man. How was your vacation, man? man. I, I feel I just, I just so refreshed. You know what I did? What? I just checked out so much over the break that I realized I... I just am using the clothes that I left here. As soon as we finished, I took my clothes off and walked out the door to vacation. Um, you, you drive naked? No, I can't drive naked. Come on, man. No, I had underwear on. I had, I had a vacation outfit at the door. Um, and I, is that music still happening? <laughs> so nice, I and and uh, then I realized I got here straight from vacation, literally just got back, and, they, and these clothes were here, so I figured I'd give them another go. You rode through the night. To get are your is your wife and kids out in they the car? They just drop me off. I'll drop. Yeah, off. I'll walk home. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'll drive you home. Yo, thank you. So you got home earlier, and you still wore the same thing you wore last week. I uh, this is the only shirt I wear. The I'm only shirt now. that you wear. We're a minimalist. You're you're a min- <laughs> you're a minimalist. Now. I'm a minimalist. What all did you get rid of? I know you're borrowing my lawnmower. So yeah, all my clothes. All your clothes. All my clothes. A couple of beach balls. I don't need them anymore. I already went on vacation. <laughs> It's National Walnut Day, everybody. Boy, we are coming back from vacation hot. <sighs> National Walnut Day. Hot with the nuts. This could, could it get any better? I don't know, Dan. I don't know. Uh, the verdict's still out. Oh, we just got it in. No, no it could not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a good one. Um, you know, Conan's coming to a close. Yeah, I don't think anybody, like, he's still doing the podcast, right? He's still doing a podcast and he's going to have a show on HBO Max. But like his show just never was like, it's not what it used to be. And then I don't say, I, I think Conan understands that. Like he understands that the medium's changing mm-hmm. and like what he did that was so funny, really he couldn't do anymore. I loved Conan though. I've not watched Conan in years. I still watch some Conan clips. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't never get to it. I think it. it's a good interview. Well, that's why the podcast is good. Yeah, there it is. Hey, nut time. Nut time. <laughs> hey, nuts. Hey, y'all nuts. Nut, nut. Y'all nutty. You a nut, nut. You, you nut. You nut up. You man. a you nut. You a nut. Um, I was, uh, I don't like nuts. Um, At, of any kind. Of any kind. And I'm a minimalist now. A millennialist. Was, That's uh, a millennial <laughs> minimalist. Uh, and is there any other kind? A millennialist. Um, no, there's not. And uh, I uh, was going through my uh, pantry just throwing out a bunch of stuff. Like, I don't need this canned corn, like stuff like that. <laughs> and I came across the, uh, just a slew of nuts. Chucking out canned corn over there. <laughs> I, uh, I donated that. Oh, okay. Um, I came across a slew of nuts, uh, Psalm Life. And, uh, <laughs> and that's, a, that's an actually uh, improv group, uh, slew of nuts. Yeah. They do. It's all on the spot, audience suggestions. It's a riot. Got a clip? All right, what do you guys want? Da, da, da. The turtles. Okay, give me a noun. Airplane. <laughs> and then give me a, a date in history. June 7th, 1941. Hey, I'm a turtle. Oh, what are you doing, turtle? You seem to be moving slow. I am. What day is it? It's June 7th, 1941. Bah! Bah! <laughs> yeah, they're not good. <laughs> They're not good. They're just a slew of nuts. A slew of nuts, man. They're nuts. June 7th, 1941, the day after. No, no, no. Just kidding. Cool. June 7th, 1944 would have been the day after D-Day. But 41, that's just a random day. In, just in, <laughs> I'm sure something happened in June. somewhere. Yeah. I mean, World War II was happening. The United States wasn't a part of it yet, but it was happening. Yeah, and if the U.S. wasn't involved, did it really happen? Does it really you know matter? I mean? um, that's from of the Of course it happened, nuts. everybody. We, of course it happened. Lots that. of people no, died. Come and on. I, I, Never want to downplay that. Um, <laughs> nut, nuts. Uh, I was throwing out a slew of nuts, and I came across a brand of almonds. Yeah. Called Dan Knows About National Walnut Day Almonds. 
Yeah. That's the name of the almonds. It's wow. Dan knows about National Walnut I've never Days heard of that brand. Almonds. That's crazy. Do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Billy backs. Yeah. It's actually, you were very close. Billy's baby back nuts. Okay. Billy's baby back nuts. All walnuts. That was the original jingle. Now, Chili stole the jingle Man. and made it about ribs. They're terrible ribs. But Billy Back uh, was a, a very famous walnut farmer in the late 1960s. And he put his commercials on TV for people to buy his walnuts. And that was the original uh, commercial. I want my Billy Back, Billy Back, Billy Back. I want my Billy Back. It was a whole thing. Um he ran out of money on the commercials, lost the copyright to the jingle. Initially, though, you were singing Baby Back. I was, I mean, you, the only one you would have heard of is Baby Back. That's why I was singing <laughs> Baby Back initially. But then, but then I you did. You came I, in with Billy Back, and so I, I, surprised you. I actually knew, I, which I, is crazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, Walnut Day, everybody. <laughs> Back to you. Um, the Walnut Marketing Board, which, I mean. Mm, dude. The WMB, you don't want to. You don't want any part. You don't want to get on their bad no, side. No, 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 no. Um, they established a National Walnut Day in the 1950s. Uh, a sentence resolution proposed by William F. Noland. Who's William F. Noland? No, oh, you don't know the Nolans? No, man, you're lost. <laughs> Led an official proclamation by President Dwight D. Eisenhower declaring National Walnut Day in 1958. The holiday has been celebrated on May 17th ever since. So for reasons unknown, the Walmart marketing brand seems to have a stronghold on this day. <laughs> on not and just this can... day. The, just uh, It's hard to get a president to be like, this is a good day. But for reasons unknown, Eisenhower said yes, National Walnut Day. He was a free, he was a friend of Billy Back. The the Walnut Marketing Board, I think, has more they're moving power. The needle. They're moving they're, the needle. They're the next NRA. They're well, moving the, the NRA was the next. They're moving the needle. Yes, the Walnut Marketing Board. You don't want to mess with. You them. don't you want to mess with them. They have money on money, oh, and they no, have backers wanna, yeah, on yeah, yeah. backers. You don't want any part of it. People in high places. The wall. The Walnut. The Walmart boys. Walnut boys, boys, boys. Uh, so what are you gonna do to celebrate? You want to know? Uh, or eat some, uh, you plain in a salad, your ice cream, or I don't know. In a salad, I mean, I guess People yeah. Go nuts I mean, they do, they do. Learn how to make candied walnuts. Okay. YouTube or something. Not not in. Uh, make a drink with Nacino, an Italian liquor made from unripe walnuts. I don't know about unripe walnut liquor. I <sighs> like that sounds like. One of the worst bits slew of nuts ever did. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm a walnut, but I'm not ripe yet. Don't touch me. You don't look good to me. Uh, Here's some liquor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to talk about our favorite <laughs> nutty recipes. Are the walnut... <laughs> Uh, the slew of nuts. nuts, are they the was up guys? Yeah, kind of, okay. I think so. Uh, here on Diamond. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. I don't mind if I do. Really big uh, show. Really big. Welcome back. We're talking about our favorite nutty recipes. Our favorite nutty mm -hmm. recipes. For me, it's just a good old-fashioned peanut butter and jelly. Uh, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I like a peanut butter and jelly at lunch sometimes. I'll make do myself really? a peanut butter and jelly. If I go home and uh, I'm not feeling any of the leftovers, I'll uh, get myself some uh, peanut butter and jelly with some salt and venies as a side. The, the sweetness of the peanut butter and the jelly with the contrast of the salt, salt and chips on the side is a delightful consumption. You know, you gave me a hard time for combining sweet and salt sour uh, yesterday, but now you're on board. No, there's a big difference between sweet and salty and sweet and, and sour, and, and, which you and would not no, be on, on board with. You were eating chocolate and then you transitioned I ate to sour. Oreo cookies. 40 minutes later I ate sour candy. 40 minutes? Yes. I don't know what the big deal we is. We were on that Zoom for 40 minutes. I ate the cookies before the Zoom. Well before the Zoom. And not well before the Zoom. And then I ate the sours during the Zoom. So maybe not quite 40 minutes. We were here yesterday on a Sunday? You know what I mean. 20 it was 25 30 minutes between the cookies and the and the and the sours. What are you going to do? 
Whatever the case may be, I'm not a huge peanut butter and jelly guy. I like peanut butter and almost anything else. I was at a restaurant last week and had a peanut butter pie with an Oreo crust, and it was delightful. I have great. dreamed about that peanut sounds butter great. pie. It's delicious. Peanut butter is clearly the best uh, yes. nut to have to offer, right? Yeah. yeah like we I can all say, agree yeah, on yeah. that. I like pecans. Some people say pecans. They'd be wrong. Um, I like boiled peanuts. I would oh, say okay. a close second to peanut butter for me is boiled peanuts. I make my own boiled peanuts in the slow cooker. They're delicious. I have a secret seasoning that I use. It's a whole thing. And you have put me to sleep. Uh, favorite nutty recipe. Beth Ann says, I'm a sucker for any dessert involving peanut butter. Holly Fight says, once again, Jimmy Carter cake. She gave that earlier. She on the Facebook group posted the recipe. I it saw delightful. that. Yeah, How really about good. this? What Christina says, goat cheese enchiladas. This recipe features roasted pine nuts. Pine nut and goat cheese are a great combination. What is a pine nut? I don't it know looks, if I've ever heard of, of this. It's smaller. Um, okay. It looks almost like a sunflower seed a little, if I'm not mistaken. A goat um, cheese enchilada. Dude, my wife I, would love that. Dude, I've had a salad with goat cheese and pine nuts and like olive oil and uh, balsamic vinegar, and it's delicious. I can, I have yet to get on board with the goat cheese, but dude, I I'm love still it. open so to good. the idea. Yeah. Um, Michelle's with you with peanut butter pie. Mm. Um, How about, oh, wait a minute. Sarah Brinkman says peanut butter balls, the kind with Rice Krispies in them. Sarah, you've already sent us some of your homemade candy. You're going to throw out... Peanut butter balls with Rice Krispies in them, and I just have to have. Them. I'll pay whatever the money is. I will. I will. I'll Venmo you. This is. I have to try this, and I don't know how to get my hands on any, but it sounds like my new favorite thing. Uh, Stacy says uh, an Asian fusion noodle dish with peanut butter sauce Ooh. that I love to make. Uh, my wife makes a good pad thai with uh, peanut butter base, which is really delightful. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Tracy Thornton says roasted pecans seasoned with Himalayan salt. Love a good pecan uh, with Himalayan salt. And you spelled it correctly, Tracy. Nicely done. Thank you. Not that, Tracy. Peanut what butter brownies. You? I'm in on that. Peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Bring it. Um, man, I'm just getting hungry. I'm just getting hungry thinking about it, Bran. Uh, Katie says uh, Thai peanut curry. Okay. Which yeah. includes peanut butter. Um, and uh, what, what was uh, Andy says my vegetarian chili. Okay. Uh, good for you. <laughs> well, mm. sounds great. And I'm happy for you. Yeah. Uh, we, we did, did it, it, everybody. Congratulations. We did it. Uh, we're back tomorrow with another good one, which is what is the most unique museum you've visited? Kind of almost similar to the weirdest. Ooh, uh, do you want to do Limerick instead? We can do museum a Museum Day? There's a lot of good Limericks. I didn't want to miss well, them. Well, let's do, okay, yeah, we missed Limerick I already, Day. I think I already hid the column. Let's just do the museum. We can find them. Okay. We can find Limericks. So we're going to read Limericks all, instead of museums. Write a Limerick. Okay, write a Limerick. It's a the, date. It's a date. I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, take the date. Ah. Oh, Hi. man. I, who, who are you? <laughs> I'm Walter. Walter? What are you doing here? This I'm, is my I'm taking time. over. You're not taking I'm over. I'm taking nothing. over. You wouldn't know how oh, to Let's take rock, over. paper, scissors. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Haiku. <laughs> we nailed it, Jan. <laughs>